So now that we've discussed the basic concept and how it's going to work, if we take a look at our initial content area, this will give us a better indication of what we're going to be doing in the next video. So let's take a look. As you can see, I've got my body and we've got a content tag that's wrapping everything within it. Now, what are we doing with that content tag? There's not really much that it's doing at the moment, but I've included it in here because it's not unusual to have a container of sorts that holds the website. And it also affords you an extra possibility of putting in yet another background image depending on where you want it and what you want to do with it. So it's not really doing too much at the moment, but it's there so that if you need, you have a wealth of possibilities as to what you can achieve with it. So the basic structure of what I want to be looking at are sort of located here. You can see that there is a header area, which I'm just going to temporarily collapse. And then you'll notice that I have a number of divs. And the header area has the most information. The divs I've actually stripped of their information and I just put in a small little P paragraph section. In order for this thing to work, however, it's important that each of your sections actually has a good deal of information within it. And You'll even notice that in this particular example, I've actually taken some liberties to utilize the CSS to make things a little bit larger than they normally would be. But that's just another aesthetic criteria that you, know, you can choose whether or not you want to embrace. So as you can see here, we've got individual divs sections. And these divs are being used so that we can work with them as individual sections. Now, even in the header, which I still have some information here, the basic information is still the same. It's still sound, in other words. And basically, what it looks like is something similar to what you see right here. Within the open header, close header area that I have here, the header is given a class of scroll item. And the CSS to see what scroll item is going to do, we'll take a look at it a little bit later. But I just want to look at the basic structure of the HTML page. So within this header called scroll item class, and it has an ID of section one. Let's take a look at the other ones. Same thing, class scroll item ID section two, scroll item section three, scroll item four and five. So they're all exactly the same. It's just the content we're putting in them that is a little bit different. So let's see what happens. And if you remember from our sketch that we looked at last time, we've got that containing element. And then this element is set to 100% on the width so that it will stretch out and give us the background image that we want, the different background images as we scroll through this thing. Within the thing is the article with the class called mod in this case. And if you remember, articles are going to be set to 960 and centered in the page so that even on a very, very large canvas or large screen resolution, we'll still have the article centered while the background image is going to take up the entire area of the browser. As well, in there we have a section tag which is being used to hold the information for the class called main. And let's just take a look at our finder again. And if you remember, here's the archive with the scan. I'm just going to open that up. So look, the scroll item container, in this case, the first one, it's a header tag. In the other ones, they're just div tags, but they have the class scroll item. And within that, we have the article, which is centered, 960 pixels. And in the first one, we have navigation and the main class area. But the other ones just has the main class area. All right, so now that we've understood a little bit, we visualized it once again, I'm showing it to you in code. So here, the section with the class called main has a h2 and couple of paragraphs and stuff like that and then we close that section within that section is the information that I just illustrated however right next to it in the first area is the nav tag and as you can see here I'm just gonna spread that out a little in the nav tag we have an unordered list with list items okay so within that is the article tags or there they are and here is our header tag. So you see the nested sort of scenario that we're working with in here with a section and the nav. 
Now if we scroll down and we look at our first div, I've made it a lot easier by stripping out the text. And what you'll see here is again the same basic structure. A section with the information, and that's going to be on the right hand side. The article that holds it in order to center it on the page. And finally, the div with the class scroll item and its own individual ID is holding all of that information. So there is the HTML structure that we're going to be looking at and working with in this particular instance. Let's come back and when we do in the next video I'm going to explain a little bit about how the jQuery is going to work for this as well as what we're going to be doing with our CSS styles.